For one, the sheriff is apologizing to people across the county for what he calls a public safety breach. Now, officers didn't realize the four, some of the four detainees had escaped until after they were already gone four hours after the fact. This should be deemed a public safety breach. Hines County Sheriff Tyree Jones says authorities are working aggressively to capture four detainees who escaped through the roof of the Raymond Detention Center Saturday night. We don't believe that they all escaped the roof at the same time, but rather different times and making their way towards the Highway 18 area. Investigators believe the escapees quickly went looking for a getaway car at the nearby Hines County Public Works Department where a caller reported a white pickup truck had been crashed through a gate and was seen speeding down the highway. This vehicle was later found abandoned Sunday afternoon in Spring Valley, Texas. The sheriff also says a red 2005 Chevy Silverado was stolen from a house in Raymond that could be connected to the escapees. The truck was later seen at about 4.55 yesterday morning by electronic equipment traveling east on I-20 into the Rankin County area. The detainees Dylan Arrington, Casey Grayson, Corey Harrison, and Jerry Raines, who previously escaped from the jail, were being held on various charges ranging from auto theft, business burglary, to receiving stolen property. Authorities say they all managed to get out after breaching a cell in Pod B. The door is locked in this particular pod. Uh, the pod is secure. The breach that they created was located within a cell. So he was in a secure area. The detention center has been plagued with problems and escapes over the years because of a lack of manpower. The sheriff says right now there are short 50 detention officers. But of course, that's no excuse. Again, we have accepted accountability regarding what happened. We just want the people to know the responsibilities that we're faced with. And the sheriff says he does believe one of those detainees managed to make it all the way to Texas. He believes the other three are still somewhere here in central Mississippi, still on the loose. Reporting from Raymond Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.